Welcome back to your favorite movie repeat channel, today we're gonna recap a drama, science fiction and fantasy movie called, Upstream Color. Watch out, spoilers ahead. A man, say a thief finds something blue on the leaves of a plant that he harvested. He observes a few roundworms and collects them out of curiosity. The thief performs various experiments on these worms with the help of some children. He discovers later that if two people drink the blue stuff that comes out of the worm, they become psychically connected to one another. After experimenting with the substance on some kids, he tried to sell it but was not successful. After he fails to sell the thing, he kidnaps Amy Simons and drugs her with those worms. He wants to check his idea of controlling other people with his mind. He's holding her as a drugged hostage at his own house and tells her to drink more of the drug, and she does what he says because of hypnotic sensibility. He uses a set of distractions, such as getting her to create a paper chain, where each link features a transcription of the book Walden, in order to distract her while performing his mind control. She receives a drink as an award for accomplishing her tasks. He ends up manipulating her to liquidate her assets, reveal a stock of rare coins and empty her bank account. The man leaves her after she no longer has anything to offer. She wakes up and discovers worms that crawl into her skin. She had to cut her off with a knife to take out the worms. Amy, like a worm, is attracted by a strange noise towards a pig farm, where farmer Andrew Sensenig plays enormous speakers into the ground. Andrew removes the worm from her body and puts them into a pig. He gives her a drink to relax while taking off a large worm. Chris then wakes up in an abandoned SUV on the freeway without any memory of these recent traumatic events. Chris is fired from the job because of unexplained absence. While shopping one day she realizes all her money is gone. Amy meets a friend Shane Carruth and discovers that she is drawn towards him. They start going on dates and after one thing leads to another. While embracing each other Chris discovers that the two have the same scars. Both were immediately laid off their jobs. Soon Amy feels that she's pregnant. Meanwhile, back at the pig farm, Shane's pigs are also hooked up and they have piglets. The farmer throws the piglets into a burlap bag and throws them into a stream. This event coincides with the fact that Jeff and Chris feel an extreme sense of loss and frustration, and both act like something terrible is happening to them. Jeff has a spontaneous fight with two of his co-workers. Meanwhile, the piglet bag is seen rotting away and a blue substance erupts from the open wounds of the piglets, filling the surrounding waters, from where the orchids emerged. The orchids end up spinning the same blue color and are collected by the farmers, who sell the plants in the area where the thief operates. A day when Amy's collecting rocks, Jeff gets to hear what Amy says in her subconscious and he writes it down. They use the information to determine the location of the hog farm. Amy shoots down farmer Andrew. Chris and Jeff collect a box of written records revealing others who were similarly drugged, and the two summon these other past victims to the farm by sending them copies of Walden. The farm is then renovated and the pigs are better taken care of. As a result, the pigs are no longer drowned, the orchids in the river no longer become blue, and the thief is deprived of the larvae for its drug. Chris and Jeff then lived happily ever after looking after the hogs. Thanks to all of you for watching until the end, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more such movie recaps. See you guys in the next one.